everyone, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It's Wednesday, November 7th. I have some very positive news for you guys. Uh, let's jump into it. The first is, which is such a great sign. Um, as you know, there's been a lot of uh, shorting going on of Bitcoin and other cryptos in the market. We've been very much, for the most part of the year, in a bear market. Well, um, as reported here by Coindesk, the number of Bitcoin short positions just hit a three-month low. This is a good sign. It could mean that the bulls are ready to take over and it, we're going to move into a bull uh, sentiment and, of course, a bull run. Um, and everyone is still expecting a bull run towards the end of the year. We've talked about different catalysts. So far, nothing that has been announced, even the big news about Fidelity and TD Ameritrade has not sparked a bull run. However, um, what we're seeing, like I said, the short positions are, are running low here. And we still have the launch of BACT coming up. And as well as the SEC just announced that they're going to provide a guide on um, crypto for companies to assess if they are securities or not. The, the SEC could also give announcements on the nine Bitcoin ETFs they disapproved. Um, if, if they are approved now, they previously disapproved them. So there's some things that could possibly come out uh, um, and just help spark a bull run, and especially with you know folks moving away from the short position. So let me give you the details here. The bearish sentiment around Bitcoin sank to a three-month lows earlier today as short positions placed on crypto exchange Bitfinex, which has the majority of it, fell to their lowest level since August 5th. At approximately 11, um, 100 or 11 a.m., or whatever that is, UTC, the number of short positions dropped to 21,434, which represents a 33% drop in the past eight days alone. During the same time, longs or positions that are betting on an increase in Bitcoin's price also witnessed a notable increase of 10%, the current number of which 24,410 marks a three-week high. So the shorts dropped, but the longs, increase that is a very good sign now we're still in this stage of the market where the majority of all you know pretty much all coins just move with bitcoin the market moves with bitcoin now we're looking for decoupling right um with ethereum and, and um and xrp and, and other alts not move with bitcoin but we're still in the you know the early stages of this market and we've talked a bit about, you know, like XRP with X Rapid going fully live and that volume kicking in, that will decouple. Um, but I think we still have to be patient there and, and let these things uh, go live. But um, this is a good sign, guys. And of course, around this time, what we've seen is there's usually a bull market, right? Even going back to last year, but a year is previous, previous to that. Um, this is the season of, of typically when the crypto market is, is very bullish. So they actually have... Um, Details on that, talking about the seasonality. What's more, Bitcoin bulls have market seasonality on their side. The fourth quarter of the fiscal year is traditionally bullish for Bitcoin prices, specifically the month of November. Data reveals that Bitcoin has only concluded November with a monthly percent loss since 2010 and in 2011. So very long ago, you know, seven years ago, and since then it's been November into December. You have a uh, very bullish um, roll right up, um, so to speak, for Bitcoin in the market. Now, um, is past performance an indicator of you know the performance that's gonna, that's to come or future performance? No, but um, you know we take what we can get. We look at trends and we look at data, and that's what they're doing here. So we can make an educated guess, but we can't say with a hundred percent certainty that's the way it is. However, we recently just start seeing the market move a bit upwards, right? So, um, like I said in even yesterday's video with with how the market was moving. Let's let it play out. Let's look at the trends. Don't want to shoot, uh, jump the gun here because there is uh, manipulation in the market. You know, there's bull traps, things along that line. So we have to let it play out. Um, but, you know, I'm still expecting some level of bull run this year, guys. Um, hopefully it's it's big. Uh, fingers crossed. You know, with the launch of back to December 12th, hopefully the SEC approves some of these Bitcoin ETFs they previously denied. And that could, I, I think, certainly spark a bull run because we're already seeing people, as you can see here, 
going along on the price of Bitcoin. So um, there's even guys like Mike Novogratz and a few of the other major players in the market who are saying they expect a price increase for Bitcoin up to like 9,000 or a bit over 9,000 by end of year. But the big bull run they believe will happen in Q1 of 2019 when they believe the uh, SEC is going to approve the CBOE uh, Bitcoin ETF, which is very large. And I think um, if that's the case, it's not that long away, uh, you know, as far as it's not like we have to wait another year. But um, I'm still hoping for something to happen, um, you know, this month or next month. And, and um, like I said, a catalyst backed launch um, or SEC really coming out with something significant or we have some other major positive news. So wanted to let you guys know about that. And that's that's a very, very good sign. Um, now, some positive Ethereum news here, guys. And as you know, I hold Bitcoin, I hold Ethereum, I hold XRP, XRP, the majority of my portfolio. Um, I hold many other altcoins as well. But um, remember, I always tell you guys, there's going to be multiple winners in, in the crypto market. But as I always say, just my factual, logical and use case perspective, um, I believe XRP is going to be the biggest winner just because of its use case, the size. And, and of course, it has the superior technology with speed, costs, and so forth, right? Well, Ethereum, um, and I, I, I think you guys may have seen, yeah, I, I did a video on this where I think it was the Austrian government did an auction via the Ethereum blockchain. So there's some adoption happening here with Ethereum with their uh, smart contracts, guys. Um, BBVA, which is a bank, obviously, uh, a Spanish bank, puts... $150 million syndicated loan on the Ethereum blockchain. This is very big. You have a bank doing this, and that's a big loan amount. Uh, Spanish bank banking giant BBV Hay has completed a pilot um, to put a syndicated loan for $150 million on the blockchain. According to a report from the Financial Times on Wednesday, the bank arranged the loan for Red Electra, Spain's national electric electrical grid operator. A syndicated loan is one where a group of banks lends together into a single borrower. In this case, the BBVA's co-lenders were Japanese Mitsubishi UFG Financial Group and France BNP Parabis. Uh, the data for the loan was timestamped at each stage of the process. The loan agreement was fully signed between the three banks and recorded on the Ethereum blockchain, preserving its authenticity. Authenticity. Oh my gosh, I can't say this word today. Authenticity. Authenticity. Wow, I could not say that for a second. Um, so as you can see, uh, Ethereum is getting adoption, and uh, I'm currently holding it in my portfolio. I even told you guys about the Ethereum Classic, why I decided to hold that as well. And even the major blockchains LLC project that is happening in Nevada is going to be, um, Ethereum is going to play a very big part of that. So, um, I, you know, personally, I diversify. So I, I know some people hold specific coins, you know, some like, for example, in the XRP community only hold XRP. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, personally, just from my experience, I like to diversify and there's definitely going to be multiple winners in the market um, because there's different use cases. But like I always say, XRP has the biggest, the largest. I mean, it's huge. These banks I mentioned here, like uh, Mitsubishi, uh, UFG and BBVA are actually working with Ripple, um, but they're using Ripple for different use cases, money transfer, right? Um, this here with the loan and the smart contract setup is different. Now, we'll see how these things change when Ripple launches Codius, which is their smart contract platform, but um, Ethereum has a major part to play in adoption for different use cases, and uh, we're seeing that starting, and this is very big. So, uh, I, I would not sell your Ethereum, guys, and, and they're going to be making some upgra upgrades as well. Um, I think those of you who are hardcore Ethereum followers know about that. Um, we do different things that are in the process right now. It's been kind of slow moving. Um, I think Casper and, and I, I, I don't I apologize if I don't remember all of them, but um, Ethereum will be certainly a winner coming out of this market, guys. Um, now, I found this very interesting. SAP. Now, there's been a lot of news about SAP partnering with Ripple, but we don't know the details of that partnership and all of that and what's going to happen, right? Um, but anyway, SAP for Banking did a poll on Twitter, and they said here, it's Election Day in the United States. Which issue issue is the of the most importance in this election as it relates to the financial services industry? Hashtag banking. 
Um, the options were regulation data, privacy feature of crypto, no impact. Feature of crypto won that poll. I found that very interesting because um, this obviously SAP that is highlighting this and um, I can guarantee you they're going to use that information accordingly uh, for their plans and they do these things to get sentiments and understanding of what people are thinking. So I just wanted to share that with you guys that um, if you think crypto is just a fad, oh, we're, we're way beyond that. It's here to stay. It's a new asset class. Um, blockchain, new technology is going to revolutionize the world. And um, it's it's like I said, we're in 1994-95, the internet, if you were to make that analogy. In the early days, a lot of people still don't know what's going on, how it works, what's this, what's that. Um, but this technology is here to change the world. And this is the where we're headed. Um, moving ahead, and this is actually relates to Ripple. Um, so CM Commercial Bank is partnered with Ripple. And, and this article mentions it here. Uh, but they are going to be building out an Asia payments hub. So CM Commercial Bank is extending its work with Ripple to create a payments network through Southeast Asia. Now, this is very interesting. Um, they are going not only, you know, they have their own locations and what they're doing, but they're now going to build a hub within Southeast Asia, which is big. Uh, CM Commercial Bank is building a hub for cross-border payments, collect connecting its Thailand business with other Southeast Asia banks. It is part of the bank's drive to use technology to transfer, transform the business model to remain competitive, says CTO Colin Din. We Here's a quote. We really have to be aggressive, he said. In my view, this is interesting. In five to eight years, banks as they exist today will be irrelevant to customers because there will be a product, example, a Google or Facebook between us. Hmm. Banks will be irrelevant to customers. That's very interesting. Um, and, uh, it says here in July, 2017, SCB pioneered a remittance corridor to Japan's SBI remit, the country's largest money transmitter using X current, a blockchain technology developed by ripple. So, uh, some big things happening here in Southeast Asia. And, and that's the great thing about ripple, as I mentioned, the, not just the use case, but they're working with banks globally. I'm talking the Middle East and Asia and Southeast Asia and Europe and so forth. It, they're, I mean, it's just so many banks that they're partnering with. Over 200 banks, um, over 100 production contracts signed. So very big things are ahead. Um, of course, we have to be patient and let these things roll out. Um, but, you know, even with the technology that they're providing to the banks, the banks are using that to expand, as you can see here, CM Commercial Bank, to build their network, to build their uh, reach, so to speak. So uh, very, very cool stuff. Now, speaking of Ripple here, um, Emily Yoshikawa, who is the Global Ops and Partnership at Ripple, along with Brad Garlinghouse, who is the CEO of uh, Ripple, of course, will be at um, the Money 2020 in China. So Brad's going to be, uh, he's going to be a keynote speaker. So maybe we hear something very interesting. Now, Money 2020, China. And you know how locked down China is with crypto. Now, don't get me wrong, the, 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 the bank, the central banks banned crypto trading, but people still have it and they can use it. But it's not as free as other countries, right, uh, from uh, being able to use crypto and do certain things. Um, so we could hear maybe something very interesting there. So it's going to be November 14th through the 16th. So next week, and we can hear, like I said, something very interesting come out from there, maybe a major announcement. So wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that. And, uh, let's see, let's see, maybe you hear some very bullish news. Um, now we have a whole bunch of exchanges and apps and wallets and so forth, which, are using um which have launched now have xrp support and different cryptos as well so uh, elipal hope i pronounced that correctly uh tweeted proud to to today proud proudly supporting xrp litecoin digibyte dash ethereum uh ethereum classic excuse me um and usdt experienced the first mobile supported connection free hardware wallet so very cool here um and we're seeing more and more of these wallets and um, different softwares and hardwares and these things coming out, which is cool. It shows that everyone, very similar to the internet, right? Where everyone's building their technology, their websites and different things. And everyone's trying to make money off of this because this is the future. 
and uh, it's exciting to see all, all of these new developments. Uh, next item here, shout out to Leonidas, uh, another fiat currency paired with XRP. It seems Mongolian Digital Exchange Trade MN um, Trade dot MN is offering. Uh, I, I apologize, those of you in Mongolia, MNT. Oh, here we go, Mongolian Turgric. USD and BTC pairs. So continued ad adoption and integration of XRP with fiat pairing and of course some exchanges using it as a base currency. So uh, it is, is happening globally, which is exciting. I've been I can't even count how many of these items I I've shared with you guys over the past uh, few months that just a continued addition and, 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 and um, listing of XRP. So very good sign. Shout out to Leonidas here. Um, XRP is being traded on Light Forex, uh, broker with USD pair. It has been, it has also been featured in the article on November 6th titled uh, "Ripple Killer of Payment Systems." Despite the bullish title, the article does contain some inaccuracies. Um, so here is uh, Light Forex's page. So continued uh, adoption. Here's another one. Um, from XDAEX. So they are a full featured digital asset exchange which provides professional institution users, institutional users with safe and reliable trading services. Um, they said, Dear supporters, please be aware that Ripple XRP trading has resumed on with a new ticker XRP. Um, important zero trading fee. So it looks like, okay, they uh, actually looks like they had actually already listed it but they have zero trading fees now and they have um new trading pairs live it looks like so very interesting here let's see where they're based uh, oh in hong kong see what i'm talking about guys this is happening globally now you go back last year of course we know bitcoin ethereum litecoin were of course on every exchange possible right you even had exchanges that only had those and no other altcoins so this year it's very different and that's why i'm so excited for the next bull run because i think xrp with it's now uh being listed on more exchanges and being used as a base currency and of course it's major use case and utility of cross-border payments as well as the spring initiative where it's going to be used in ecosystems and marketplaces all these things will contribute to a nice uh growth in price and value um and like i said i hold bitcoin i hold ethereum i hold stellar lumens but I'm most bullish on XRP, just given that that uh, use case. And now it's getting more visibility, more uh, exposure for people to purchase it, of course, with fiat pairing. And of course, those things contributed to the growth of um, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin, you know, in, in having um, liquidity and people having access, easy access to it. So uh, what do you guys think of this news? Um, I think the fact that, uh, you know, these Bitcoin shorts are are going down and the longs are going up shows maybe the bulls are going to take some control here and we could uh you know this can contribute with the you know some major news like backed and so forth to launch the bull run uh bbva i think this is a huge win for ethereum here um so what do you guys think about that sap very interesting results here for uh their poll um, CM Commercial Bank, obviously partnered with Ripple, expanding their hub in Southeast Asia. Um, and Ripple's Brad Garlinghouse will be at uh, Money 2020 in China. Hopefully we hear something big. But uh, And then the, all of these other adoptions onto hardware wallets and exchanges and so forth. So very big stuff happening. Be patient. Let the market do its thing. Let, like I said, we're in the infrastructure stage. Everybody's getting their patents, their custody services, making acquisitions, mergers, um, make, you know, just they're all setting up their stuff. Let them set it up. Uh, SEC has been moving very quickly and faster now um, and seems to be a bit more pro crypto now because the big players are, have announced they're coming in and we can hear news of other big players you know we heard fidelity td ameritrade of course backed is launching december 12th so it's a good time to be in crypto even despite the bear market right that we've been in um because man i've been in it since late 2016 i wish we had news of oh, fidelity td ameritrade man i would have been more bullish and bought more back then but you know at that time you know in hindsight it's easy to say that but at that time when you're not seeing major news of adoption or who's coming in 
um, it's really uncharted waters and you don't want to put too much that you can't afford to lose. Right. Or, but now it's like, man, I got more confidence I ever had before because once you see the governments are on board and wall street and the big money are, poor, you know, getting ready, to come in the big names there. It's not a secret. They've made it public. We're going to start seeing commercials for crypto and crypto insurance and crypto storage and all that and blockchain technology. So the future is bright, but you got to be patient. Got to be patient. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description. Uh, also, guys, uh, you know, if you find this helpful and you want to share with your friends and family who want to learn about crypto, you know my approach here, logical, factual, um, take it from a business standpoint, um, because that's where we're headed. We're headed to full regulation and all that's for the big money to come in and for businesses to start adopting this, to be, for this to become mainstream. So we got to look at it that way. The, the, you know, uh, Don't get me wrong. It's fun sometimes to see you know, certain things happen in the market, but we got to move beyond speculation and, and look at the facts. So uh, please share my channel with your friends and family if you think it would be helpful for them. They want to learn about crypto. Appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you guys later.